Okay, I've switched to the circular marquee tool, which is under the uh, rectangular marquee tool. You can see the dot by this one that shows that the elliptical marquee tool is currently selected. So now I'm, I'm going to switch to new selection mode, and I'm going to select this circle using elliptical marquee. Now this is a perfectly round circle, and but the elliptical marquee tool does select any, an ellipse. And depending on how I drag it out, I'll get something that's more or less egg-shaped or a flattened egg shape. But and, and if I pull it out just right, I can get a perfectly round circle, but it's pretty hard to get an exact circle. So Photoshop provides us with a mode that allows us to select an exact circle because that's something that people need to do pretty regularly. And the way that that works is if, I, if you just press down the shift key before you make your selection, then you'll get a perfectly round circle. So now as I'm dragging it out, it doesn't matter where I move the mouse, I'm going to get a perfectly round circle. So that's better. But I'm, and I'm getting close to the right size, but the problem that you can see is my circle, my selection doesn't precisely overlap the actual circle that I'm trying to select. Well, Photoshop has a remedy for that too. If I, I'm, if I continue to hold down the shift key and I press down the space bar, now Photoshop enters a mode where I can move the circle around. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to let go of the space bar and continue to hold down the shift key because I do want a perfect circle. And I'm going to drag out my selection some more. I'm getting closer and closer to the correct solution, selection, but it's still not quite right. So what I need to do is press down the space bar again, shift my circle to where it needs to be let go of the space bar and continue to hold down the shift key. And as I drag out the circle a little bit more, I'm almost there. Press the space bar to tweak the location again, drag out a little bit more. Now I've got a very good approximation of a circle. I'm missing just a little bit up here on this outer edge. If I was a little bit more careful, I could get that selected properly too. This, this, this demonstrates the technique of making a perfectly round selection and getting it all located where it needs to be all in one operation. Now, if you, now I should also point out that you can move the circle around if you know that, so say I accidentally selected this circle and I meant to select this one, you can just click anywhere inside your selection and drag and you can move it to where it needs to be. Well, I, I actually like this circle being selected but I'm going to add to it next. Okay, so I've got this circle selected and I want to add this portion of this green circle to the selection so that I have both of these upper two circles selected. Now at this point I happen to be in new selection mode and I want to add to the circle. So as you may recall, I can press the shift key to, in, to display the plus cursor so that I'm in add mode. So I'm doing that now and you can see the plus cursor is selected. But now when I'm in now, what I'm finding is that that prevents me from creating a perfectly round circle. I'm using the elliptical marquee tool and I'm holding down the shift key, which shifts me into add mode, but I cannot also have a perfectly round circle. That's because Photoshop doesn't know which of the two meanings I want. Do I want to go into add mode or do I want a perfectly round circle? Well, Photoshop assumes, picks one and assumes that it means I want to add to my selection. Well, that's not what I want to do, but there is a workaround for this. Okay, so what I can do to tell Photoshop that I want to add to the selection is press the Add to Selection mode, and now I got the, the plus cursor, and that Photoshop knows that I want to add to my selection. But if I press down the Shift key at this point to tell Photoshop that I want a perfectly round selection, I'm finding that it still doesn't work. I'm still getting an elliptical selection instead of a perfectly circular selection. So there's a, there's a fix for this too. The way to work this is don't hold down the Shift key when you start your selection. You've, you're in Add to Selection mode already. Just click and start to drag, and now press the Shift key, and as you'll see, now I'm getting a perfectly round circle. And as before, I need to shift my location of my circle a little bit to make it just the right area that I want. So as I continue to hold the shift key, I'm also pressing down the space bar and I'm gonna drag out my selection a little bit more. I'm gonna press the space bar again to get just the correct area selected. And I'm going to continue to fine tune this, dragging with and positioning and increasing the size. Mm. And I think that's just about right. 
and I'm going to let go. And now I have the area of both circles selected.